So here we are in the entrance hall of St. Werberg Street here in Werberg Street in the middle of Dublin. On either side of me are two very unusual things to see in a church. Now, when they were introduced, uh, the church had an awful lot of civic responsibility. We're used now to the church only having religious responsibilities. But back then, the church was responsible for uh, the likes of fixing the streets, doing lighting, looking after the poor. Uh, indeed, there's accounts of St. Werberg's Parish giving uh, armbands for official beggars to beg within the parish boundaries. And so too, they were responsible for putting out all fires within the parish. Now, they were fined greatly in the late 1600s for having inadequate fire uh, extinguishing methods or, or supplies in the parish. At the time, they were only expected to have fire buckets of sand. Now, this was after the Great Fire of London, and they were fined by the King's Bench. So you must remember at the time that here in the ancient city, most of the houses would still have been built of wood, and the streets were much smaller and crammed together. And they were afraid that, like London, a fire could break out and spread rapidly across the city. And so the people of St. Werberg's decided, instead of just having uh, the basic supplies, like uh, uh, buckets of sand, that they would go with the latest technology from France. And here we have it, uh, St. Werberg's very own and Dublin's oldest and one of the first fire engines in the city, which could be pumped. Now, they were very clever. They decided, rather than spend a fortune and import one directly from France, that they would send the parish engineer over, who, was go who went and pretended he was going to buy it, and brought with him his notebook, and took incredibly detailed notes and came straight back here, and when it was fresh in his mind, built it himself. So the parish were thrifty, and thankfully, uh, we have here preserved in Dublin the uh, oldest fire engine in not only in the city, but also in Ireland.